welcome if you are new my name is Veronica if not welcome back and today basically what I'm going to be talking about is how to properly do self-care self-love and the reason for this is because it has I think it's one of the things that really transformed my life this year and putting yourself first has is part I think of self-love self-care because honestly my regular like I don't know if this is gonna sound <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna sound but regularly like on my this is the first time the first year that my natural state is happiness like most of the time is being happy most of the time my thoughts are like good thoughts and if I have bad thoughts I literally am aware of it now versus before it would just be like complaining or just focusing on the negative focusing on the bad and you know most of the time it would be like a forced happiness or it would be happy but like no not fully happy so this year has really been huge for me and I'm gonna share with you what it what really made that happen for me because honestly feeling like shit or just not feeling so good isn't the best so definitely don't want you to feel like that so I got you of course this is just what has helped me and just use this as inspiration everyone is different and you know people do different things so for me it has been like really like this year was doing a lot of self-care a lot of self-love which then led me to like you know improving like that helped improve my self-concept and it's not like in a superficial way like improve my self-concept on how I look or appearance it's more of the internal right so that helped me improve my self-concept and what I thought of myself and then also to help me heal my divine feminine energy my divine feminine and now also balancing and healing my divine masculine because we all have feminine and masculine but that's a whole other topic for another video so to keep this like short and to the point basically it's really I think one of those things was self-care self-love and how I did that was honoring myself like really allowing myself to feel those things it really am be becoming aware of how I feel and that is feminine energy mostly like embodiment and becoming present and less like thinking but really like I had that as a goal this year I was like you know what this year I'm really gonna tap into my divine feminine because I heard that's like good or whatever I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try it I'm always looking for ways to like tap more into my authenticity and just become a better version of myself so I was like why not this may help me may not help me but I'll give it a go and I wasn't sure where to start, but I was like, okay, so I did a night routine and a morning routine. In the morning, I would mostly prioritize like what is my highest benefit, like my highest self, what would my morning routine look like for her? And sometimes it was tough, like I did not want to do a 10 minute, 15 minute like morning routine. Like before, I didn't have any type of routine, any type of night routine. Like I would, but like not really. Like it was like, que hueva. Que hueva is like, what a, not a bore, but like really pushing it, kind of lazy. Like it was a dread, you know, like I did not want to do that. And sometimes at night I would be like, I really don't want to do this night routine, but I did it anyways. I honored myself because I knew it was for the best and greatest good. I started focusing on my mindset in a way that like, and I think this is part of self-love and self-care, becoming aware of my thoughts and reprogramming those habitual thoughts, reprogramming my subconscious mind with positive things, improving my self-concept, like I said earlier. So that was like huge because I became aware of those things that I was constantly saying to myself that were on autopilot, the complaining or all this and that. And I just, also I listened to, and I've mentioned this in several like shorts or reels, like I really think this has helped me also with self-love, self-care, like listening to affirmations at night while I sleep. I do this religiously like every single day, every single night I'm listening to them. And it's, I think, I think has really helped because yeah 
I just recommend it. I mean, it's not, sometimes it's not like, oh, you're going to wake up the next day and you're going to automatically feel amazing. It's like, do it every night for like, thir like 30 days or three months, six months. See how you feel, you know, and I think it's the easiest way to reprogram your subconscious mind because you're more receptible at night. Like you're more in like that trance state. So more suggestible to reprogramming. So definitely recommend that. But yeah, night routine, morning routine. I'll share with you kind of like what was mine in a way, kind of like skincare. Night routine was like dedicating, I, I'm making a promise to myself to read and actually doing it, making a promise to myself to go to the gym every day and actually like ponerme las pilas, which is putting my batteries on, AKA like actually focusing while I'm there, AKA honoring that time for myself because I deserve it. Keep telling myself like, yeah, I deserve this. I deserve a good life. I deserve to be healthy, telling myself nice things. And sometimes at first it sounds cheesy, but it's true. Then it's like genuine. And, you know, knowing that everything happens for a reason and letting things just go and really coming back to love, to peace, you know, really honoring my emotions, really honoring myself, allowing myself to feel. And I think that comes with self-love and self-care. Like, go, go hand in hand because if you're more aware of your body and like your body of how you feel and you're more listening to yourself, you're there for yourself, like you're able to show up for yourself more. And that was huge, honestly. I think that really, really helped me. So self-love, self-care, and you know, self under self-care is just like two examples, morning routine, night routine. What is that best version of yourself doing? Even if that's more like it doesn't have to be wake up at 5 a.m. and do a rigid exercise. No, it could just literally be waking up in the morning and just having some gratitude. Like I started, I started with steps. Like waking up in the morning and just having a little three things I'm grateful for. Really aligning, not looking at my phone for like the first hour. Making sure I eat, drink uh, some greens, drink some tea. You know, go out in nature, ground myself. Just having that moment to really do me doing yoga like that helps me um just having a couple things that when you think of your highest self like what makes you feel good what what like how can you honor yourself even more and setting healthy boundaries because the more you're actually aware of your body which remember embodiment is actually feminine energy but everyone has feminine masculine energy so don't think of it like you know only women have feminine energy but more of like Think of masculine energy like thoughts and control, not like in a bad way, but like thoughts, action, all that, and feminine energy, surrender, allowing things to flow to you, embodiment. So um, I think when you become more aware, if, when you become more aware of your, it's a little windy, so you can't hear me in my bed, but when you become more aware of what you're feeling, you're able to then notice throughout the day like a switch or what certain things make you feel like and then you're able to then set healthier boundaries and honor yourself and sometimes it's challenging because sometimes you might feel uncomfortable but still having that affirmation like affirming replacing your old habitual thoughts with your new ones like hey i deserve to be in a healthy relationship i deserve to be loved i deserve to you know surround myself with good quality people with positive energy I deserve to go to the gym. I deserve to have a good night routine, to wake up in the morning and have a, a good, fruitful, like, morning routine. I deserve this and I deserve that, like, in a good, empowering way, you know? And so then you're able to kind of set healthy boundaries and you can, you get better at it. So, yeah, genuine self love, like, honoring yourself, knowing that something that helped me with self love, honestly, is like, being okay with making mistakes because sometimes we're so afraid of making mistakes i'm so afraid of looking wild or stupid or just like you know i don't know what this person x y and z is gonna say or do or this is usually how things go i i kind of want to try something different do something different honor yourself be be like be like <laughs> what helps me is thinking and saying to myself like this is my life, my journey, and I trust, I trust that I will go through my journey, and if something does happen, 
I make a mistake, well guess what, I'm going to love myself the whole way through and I will learn from those mistakes. I trust that I have my own back, that I love myself and that's really, you know, me, for example, myself, I would tell, tell myself this. <laughs> as long as I have me, as long as I have my own back, as long as, you know, I have my own back, the universe has my back, you know, God has my back, however you want to put it, that's all that matters because everything else unfolds perfectly after that so my main focus is me and not in a self-centered way of course more of like mental health self-love kind of way like if i i guess it gets tricky because then sometimes if you're setting boundaries and you're not used to them you have to understand like you know when maybe you're being a people pleaser and it's stemming from ego stemming from fear or are you setting healthy boundaries? Like you have to kind of navigate that and have that balance, but be okay that you're gonna, you're gonna learn, you'll learn. And just, you know, tap into love as much as possible. Tap into forgiveness, tap into, you know, if you have, if you're triggered from something, like feel it out and be forgiven towards yourself. Like every time I'm triggered, I forgive myself first and then I forgive whatever person. And then I ask for forgiveness as well. And I'm just like, you know what, this is a good thing because whenever I'm triggered, that means something is coming, I'm projecting something, I gravitated this out of, you know, I'm projecting something and I gravitated this situation to teach me something. This is how I look at it, this is what helps me. And so then I'm able to take it as a upgrade, look at it, change the perspective into, this is a good thing that I'm feeling like this, I'm, this is, that means I'm about to level up. If I'm able to take that in and transmute that energy, you know? So, yeah, self-love, self-care, having like a morning and night routine, setting healthy boundaries, tapping into your divine feminine, or, you know, just becoming more aware of your body, your thoughts, reprogramming those nasty thoughts that we all have sometimes like as much as possible you do have a bad thought like it's totally part of being human so just having compassion and being kind to yourself like being your number one best friend i think has really really helped me and a little bit by a little bit like the more you release that suppressed energy and i feel like that alone is a whole topic and i know i've done a video of it but i need to do another video of it but um suppressing like letting go of that suppressed energy and allowing yourself to feel what is and not fall into the story but just allowing yourself to feel and then reprogramming it after to the truth that you are love you are abundance you are bliss at your core you're worthy of everything all your desires and your desires wanted you first anything you desire is yours by divine right it's already yours you just have to tune in to that frequency you have to just tune in and align with that version of you that has those desires and like slowly but surely like you have to trust that you are as long as you're aligned those things will unfold just be kind to yourself the whole way through like and you will wake up one day like me slowly but surely the more i release that suppressed energy and reprogram i felt started getting better and a little bit better and a little bit better and then sometimes you'll be like oh no like i feel oh um, like i don't want to i don't want to get out of bed right now like i don't want to do my night routine nor my morning routine and sometimes like you know what oh something else that i did this that really helped me whenever I do feel like I don't feel like that anymore as much but sometimes I do have those days like one or two like I just get up and I just don't want to do anything I honor it I'm like you know what that's totally fine Veronica like I talk to myself like this it's totally fine Veronica let's at least do three things the most important things on your to-do list if I get those three things done the things that will honor myself the most then hey I've had a successful day and that's okay and so just being understanding towards myself and just having like a, three things, like I always have three things, like three most important things to do today. And I make sure I do those. And so by the end of the day, I, I feel like, and that kind of gets your the ball going. It kind of gets the energy flow, like focusing on the good, your accomplishments, that makes you want to do more of that. So that really helps me too. But other than that, like, I mean, it's a journey and you have to be your own best friend honestly and just be as kind and as compassionate as possible like yeah i know sometimes it's challenging and sometimes we don't see 
the light. Sometimes we don't see the gifts that are given to us, and they're or they're you know shadowed by ego, by fear, by programming that aren't ours. You know that are fake. But you are worthy. You are deserving. You are badass. You are everything good. And you know, just stick to that. Like honor yourself little bit by little bit. Do those things. You know, make yourself like really, really do this for yourself. Like really in this lifetime you know do it for yourself like do it for yourself like stand, like no matter it doesn't matter what anyone thinks like honor yourself be kind to yourself go to the gym and because you deserve it and just at least you're trying you know at least you're getting up and trying and putting effort and being a better version of yourself for yourself because you deserve to feel good and to be good and to you know just be you because you are good you you at your core are bliss love abundance so literally you just have to let go of all of those things so that's why letting go of suppressed energy was so important to me this year and actually like doing the things like putting action and facing those fears like i did a couple things this year that were so like i wanted to step out into the unknown like i skydived in hawaii this year and let me just tell you that was so scary um that was one of the things i told myself that i would never do and i did it why because to be a different person you have to do different things and the more i fear, face, fear my like face my fears the more i understand i mean it also it doesn't mean like go jump off a plane or do crazy crazy things but the more i face my fears the more i understand that there's nothing to fear that i'm always protected i'm always guided so it is, you know, like, it's all an illusion, I'm good, I'm always good, and so, yeah, um, definitely, like, do that, a little bit by a little bit, you'll get better, though, that's kind of how I incorporated, incorporated self-love, self-fear, I mean, self-love, self-care, um, you know, and got into a better state, and I added a little bit of other things in this video but yeah a little bit by a little bit gets you a long way consistency is key kind being kind to comp and compassionate to yourself is key like if you aren't there for yourself no one else will like you won't even like you can't depend on people to be there for you because that's so unpredictable and but if you're there for yourself always like no one can take that away from you you know your love for yourself your if you honor yourself like you always win and especially you know coming from love coming from empowerment coming from like within your soul not from like fear or unhealed or controlled or anything like that but genuine like self-love but anyways i hope this video helped and i will talk to you all on the next episode bye